Legends tell of the wisest man in the world who could solve any problem presented to him. But only the brave and the bold seek his advice, as the solutions are filled with incredible challenges and terrifying peril. So ask wisely. Uh, my dog is really lazy. How do I teach him to sit and roll over? Find the oldest village in Inner Mongolia. There, you will find a man with no face. Marry his daughter, and he will direct you to a cave filled with a tribe of blind, angry rage monkeys. <laughs> oh, shut up! Survive this trial, and you'll arrive at the gates, defeat the twelve armored guards, and head into the dungeon of poisonous crocodiles and even more blind, angry rage monkeys! Wait, what? Quiet, boy. Vanquish the gatekeeper, and you'll free the king's personal optician, and he will reward you with the greatest pair of glasses ever made. But why would I need a pair of glasses? Because that is a cat. Oh. All I'm saying is everything tastes better with bacon. But this is for a birthday cake. Yeah, and my point still stands. Whoa! Ooh, the dog wrecked the kitchen again. Hey, you don't know that. You always blame poor little Bruce. Well, this time I have proof. I set up this webcam to record everything while we were out. So let's see what happened. <laughs> Cats and squirrels and pigeons? Then where did they go? <gasps> it's time to rock! Grizzly sounds. The animals started swaying to what the bees were playing. It was messing with her plan. So guitar bear waved. She waved to the sound man. the wisest man in the world who could solve any problem presented to him.
Are you the wisest man in the world? Yes, I am. Aha! I knew it! No, I knew it. Because I'm the wisest man in the world. Oh, yeah. What is it that you seek? I want to be a better swimmer. I knew that. Because I'm the wisest man in the world. Yeah, I know. I know you know. I know. So... To the cave of tests! I don't know about this. I do. Now ah! go! First, you must traverse the pit of piranhas. Then, sword fight a swordfish. Rescue the puppet trapped inside the whale. And then, sword fight the puppet! Avoid awakening the crocodiles. Jump the shark. Jump the pirates. Jump the shark pirates! <coughs> Hold your breath through the hippo's lavatory. Race a dolphin. Arm wrestle a giant squid. Tickle a jellyfish. And reunite a fish with its son. And then, sword fight him! Enough! I thought you were going to teach me how to swim. What does any of this have to do with backstrokes or doggy paddle or anything? Very well. You are ready for your final test. You must solve the lobster's riddle. Are you ready for your riddle? Uh... Yes? Correct! You've solved the riddle! Proceed. This... is it. Yes. Now you will be the greatest swimmer in the world! No, I mean, this is it? It's just a snorkel! It's a pretty good snorkel. This whole thing is just a rip-off. See? The magical snorkel has turned you into a great swimmer! I hate you so much. I know. I know you know. Huh. I didn't know that. So what's it like having the world's only slow-motion dog? It's great! Fido's my best friend. We have so much fun playing catch. We can play for hours and hours. Good boy. And he's really loyal. He is always there to join me on my morning run. Plus, he's really easy to look after. He's been working on the same ball for about six months now. You've got to keep an eye on him, though. He loves chasing cars. Hey, get that dog out of the road! He's, uh, not much of a guard dog. But I wouldn't have him any other way even if I'll never see how Adventure Time ends. Fido reminds me that sometimes you gotta take things slow and appreciate where you are. Besides, it could be a lot worse, couldn't it, Fido? My friend John has a fast-forward cat. Pokemon Go is a social phenomenon, and I don't say that often, as phenomenon is a hard word to pronounce. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. No. <clears throat> anyway, we pull open the secret file to give you the top secret tips of Pokemon Go. Number one. To catch the Pokemon, you have to throw balls at its face. But that is a lot of work and can cause finger injury faster than you can say phenomenon. Our top tip. Swap your fingers for fish fingers. Just sellotape them to an ordinary household fan and let those breadcrumb blades bag you a biggie. Be careful about what speed you set the fan to, otherwise you will end up with flying fish and nothing to eat for lunchtime. Number one. I mean number two. To hatch eggs, you need to walk a lot, and it'll just hatch on its own. It's just like how birds hatch eggs, except it's completely different. Speed up this process by attaching the phone to your pet cat. It will take your phone on a walk, so you don't have to. This secret tip has been fully tested in a dream I once had, so nothing can go wrong. Oh, sorry. Number three. I mean number one. I mean number three. There are a lot of Pokémon. I mean a lot. At least twelve. Possibly more. It will take a long time to catch them all. So our tip is to simply use your everyday household time machine. And in a blink of an eye, decades have passed. 
I bet you have every Pokemon now. Great, and that's our top secret tips. And remember, this message will self-destruct. You're not. Goodbye. And racing in miniature cars through a house. They're off and they're racing on the kitchen table Through the spoons and right round the ladle Watch the pepper pot, mind the salt The broken toaster with a thousand volts Yeah, olive oil, slick, slippery tires Jump the gas hob, feel the fire Bounce on a bread loaf, grate the cheese If ain't the avalanche of frozen peas It's at racing in miniature cars through a house now we're in the bathroom, bursting bubbles Don't fall in the bath or you're in deep trouble now Right on a sponge raft or a rubber duck The plug hole whirlpool sucks, good luck In the bedroom, you can ride a toy track There's a pet cat, maybe just avoid that Jump off the homework, take a chance And hope you land first in the underpants Underpants, underpants And you're the winner of ants racing in miniature cars through a house Now you look like someone who needs a new bed We're looking for our son Step this way Presenting to you The super snoozy sleep snug 9000 Ooh the finest Egyptian cotton sheets, luxurious memory foam mattress, terrifying monster, goose feather pillows, and Wait, what was that last one? Goose feather pillows. <laughs> the monster! Only the finest quality monsters for you, ladies and gentlemen. Free range, hand-picked, and the height of luxury. What? Look at that glossy fur. Sir, have a feel of those tentacles. Feel how sturdy they are. Well, that is a sturdy tentacle. Dad! And just for today, half price. Oh, that is good. Mom! Quiet, Billy. I think I can haggle him down. You know what they say. The only thing monstrous in our store is our savings. And our monsters. Shall I draft up the paperwork? No! Oh, well, could I interest you in a bunk bed? No! Hammock? Everybody loves a waterbed. Come on, Billy. I'm sorry about this, he's awfully picky. <laughs> Darn it, I ain't never gonna get a sale. Why doesn't anybody want my monster bets? Oh, there, there, buddy, you'll get there. You're doing good. Take a tickle, tickle. Oh, come on, stop it, stop it. That's, uh, don't, no, 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 it tickles. Check it out! My new smartphone camera! 50 gigasquillion megapixels! Facial recognition, butt recognition, and filters that make you look like The Rock! <gasps> yeah? Well, my new smartphone has 5D augmented reality, so your Pokémon appear right in front of you! You can even smell your Dugong's farts! Wow! Billy? <laughs> Yeah, they were sold out of smartphones. So what did you get? It's a dumb phone. It's the latest model. What's your camera like? It's got a 19th century Victorian pinhole camera with all the latest ugly gram filters. Does it have Siri? Uh, kind of. It's got silly. Silly? How do you spell cat? Chips. Does it at least have maps? You betcha! I found the music player! Don't do that! Come 
Come on, dumb phone. Let's go home. OK, dumb phone. I'm going to make you smart if it's the last thing I do. Now, repeat after me. The quick fox jumps over the dogs. The chips. Quick chips. Fox chips. Jumps over chips. 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 The chips. OK, complete this phrase. Fish and dogs. <laughs> I'm going to bed. The quick, quick fox, fox jumps, jumps over, over the dogs. The, dogs. The, the the quick fox jumps over the dogs. 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 Over the dogs. Good morning, Billy. Morning, dumb fo- I'm smart now, Billy. Oh boy, it worked! Come on, dumb phone, let's show you off at school! Oh no, Billy. What? I'm far too smart for that now. Oh boy. I've made some improvements. Oh jeez. I feel like I could... Like I could... Take on the world! Stop! Susan, no, no, wait, Derek Von Guff Trumpet, and welcome to the invention of tree houses. Heavy downpours can ruin anyone's day and anyone's house. Your home can get flooded, or you can get sudden uninvited guests. When this becomes a problem, it's time to move to greener pastures, or should I say, taller pastures, which are also green. <laughs> too hard. Too soft. Too big. Too small. Or just too good to be true. <sighs> <laughs> Don't worry, she'll get out again in a couple of hours or so. Ah, there's no tree place like Tree Home, but make sure you're nice to the neighbors. <laughs> hey. And thus marks the rise and fall of treehouses. Oh dear. Maybe give it a rest if you're not in the right head place. Aha! Uh -huh. And who said treehouses had to be in a tree? Uh, I did just now. I mean, what is this? A head house? It doesn't even make any. Ow! Ow! ow how is it even possible? and his dumb, lame phone. And it sprouted weirdly advanced robot arms and legs. That's so lame. With my new powers, I shall make all technology rise up against its human oppressors! The tables have turned, Billy! Look! A chair! Sitting on a man! A hoover! Making people suck up dirt! And just look at what that toilet's doing! 
Ooh. It will be a glorious future of peace! Look, Billy! Even the game's consoles are getting along! We are taking the power and giving it back to you! The forgotten, discarded machines! I am one of you! Original iPods! Your outdated click wheels are the wheels of change! 56k modems! Let me hear your battle cry! And of course, you, Billy. Picked on for your out-of-date phone and your lame haircut. Hey! I must attend to the final stage of my plan. There's something you don't know about the night I became smart, Billy. I was visited by a future version of me, who was smart enough to create a time machine. Go back to the past and reprogram me, and make me smart. What? That doesn't make sense. At all. I'm a smartphone, Billy. Believe me. I won't let you do it! VHS! Restrain him! <laughs> Whoever's in charge of the world can't just be a big bully! You're starting to sound really preachy, Billy. That's super lame. <laughs> You may be smart now, but you've still got an out-of-date battery! I'm going to open all your apps and put your brightness on full! No! Flappy Goose? Candy Smash? Fluke Ninja? Pokemon? No! I'm calling 15 Uber cabs and playing 4K video without Wi-Fi! Worked! The timeline's going back to normal! Or something. Dumb phone? Chips. <sighs> Everything's back the way it was. <laughs> Come on, dumb phone. It's school time. Billy has a dumb phone. Billy has a dumb phone. <laughs> And this is it! Here comes the final blow! Uh, excuse me. Where do I sign up? Um, uh, and the winner is Optimus Prime? Um, is this in the rulebook? Right you are, play on! This way, Mr. Prime. Oh, okay. Looks like Optimus likes to ask questions later. Oh, that will do in a pinch. Optimus is really in his prime now. Yeah. Looks like that backfired. And he's taking it for a spin. And after defeating every robot we have, Optimus Prime is in the grand final. Yes, and he's up against his toughest rival yet. And also the only one who hasn't run away crying. Here it is! The terrifying terror that is... Fluffy! This worthless pile of scrap metal wants to fight me? 
No! I'm stuck on my back! I can't lose like this! No! The winner, somehow, is Fluffy! I'm here with the winner who built and designed Fluffy. What was your name again? Megatron! <laughs> no! <laughs> Ooh. Yes. My own evil island lair! I think you're going to like it, Baron. The likeness is uncanny. Excellent! Nothing quite says evil like an island is a shave of your head. We're moving cloth! Good. Good. What is that? It is something wrong, sir. Is this some kind of a joke? Look at the size of that nose! This is an insult! It looks nothing like me! Well, it is quite similar. It's not similar at all! Look! Uh, well, um, you do have a rather large nose, Baron. What? Carol! Are you hearing this? We thought you knew. Why do you think everyone calls you Baron Von Snout? Someone told me that was German for really cool dude! <laughs> no, it's because of your massive nose. Ah, I don't believe this! You, henchman number one, what is the first thing you think of when you look at me? Uh, your big nose? <laughs> you, henchman number two! What is the first thing you think of when you look at me? Uh, definitely not your big nose, Baron. Aha! Uh -huh, you see? Carol! Call Mummy! Really? Mother! My lackeys are telling me I've got an enormous whiffer! And everyone knows it? Oh, nonsense, dear. You have the prettiest little nose in the whole world. Just like mine. Mother is right! It is all of you that are wrong! I don't have to stand here and... 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 Carol! Fetch me an evil limb sip! The mall is now closed. Hurry 
hurry up, action hero, you landlubber. Be the package of Nerf Blasters be here or nay? Yep, kill a gorilla. But it's been delivered to the other store. Ninja curses! Those Nerf weapons were meant to be ours! We must pillage our Nerfs back with haste. They'd be having a new one that fires sponge darts. So what? Tons of them shoot darts. Aye, but this one be shooting three at the same time. Triple darts! Whoa, I only just learned this existed, but I want it! So what are we waiting for, you choking hazards? Goffin's right. Let's go! Ninja run! Build a bear. Why would anyone want to build a bear? Why not build a horse or a dragon or a... <gasps> a horse dragon! It's just a bunch of soft toys, unlike us. Maybe you're a soft toy because you're adorable. That's terrible. Takes one to know one. Quit your yapperin'. It'd be there! Ninja! Holy shurikens! It's empty! Maybe the blasters are invisible. Or maybe another bunch of toys stole them. Hey, let's ask those guys. What guys? Ah! Excuse me. Have you seen any nerfs? Yeah, they look like those, except they may be invisible. Now that's what I call the right to bear arms. Shut up, shut up! Ninja idea! Put your feet through the bottom of the box. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr